Tonight we report on an alleged stabbing at a Moses Lake home and a police officer is reportedly attacked by a man in Moses Lake. What's happening in sports, Bob? Thanks, Alan. Two lady Vikings sign letters of intent and afraid of softball takes two from Quincy. Here's a glance at our weather center forecast. Hello everyone, I'm Cristina Sanchez. We do have a cold front pushing through the area. We do have a chance of showers. I'll have all the details just ahead with your extended forecast. I'm Alan Troop and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A Moses Lake woman allegedly stabbed a man in the hand at a Moses Lake home. Brandon Pryor, a 29-year-old woman, went to visit a 51-year-old man at a home in the 1000 block of West Marina Drive on Friday morning. The Moses Lake Police reported on Monday that she reportedly pulled a knife and began swinging at him. The man reportedly put his left hand up to defend himself and was stabbed in the hand. He allegedly grabbed a frying pan and hit Pryor. She fled and was located by police near West 3rd Avenue and was arrested for assault in the second degree. Pryor reportedly had two knives in her possession. More than 50 cars were on display over the weekend at the 31st annual Moses Lake High School Skills USA Indoor Car Show. Reporter Jeff Chu was there and has the story. It started 31 years ago with about 10 classic cars. Saturday's annual Moses Lake High School Skills USA Indoor Car Show exhibited 55 souped up Hot Wheels and antique vehicles. Some of the machines on wheels came in unique designs. The event takes place at Big Bend Community College's 3300 building and draws a crowd to raise money so Moses Lake High School students can attend the Skills USA three-day event in April in Tacoma. The Moses Lake Automotive Technology students will compete with about 3,000 others at the statewide event. They will compete by working on small engines, taking tests, identifying tools, even installing chains on chainsaws and stringing weed whackers. The event raised more than $3,000 for the students. The cars roll in from around the Northwest, but most were from the Grant County area. I'm Jeff Chu for i 501 News. Grant County officials are meeting with county fair food vendors to discuss a potential increase in fees. The Grant County Commissioners delayed a decision on Monday about a proposed 2.5% increase in the amount the county takes from nonprofit vendors. It would increase from 12.5% to 15% of gross income. Fairgrounds manager Jerry Gingrich asked for the delay so he can meet with nonprofit organizations at 7 p.m. on April 9th in the Huck Fuller building at the fairgrounds. Each food vendor at the fair pays a minimum of $500 to rent a space for the week. If the organization or business earns more than $500, it pays a percentage of the money it makes to the county. The change is estimated to increase revenue for the fairgrounds by $5,000. A man allegedly assaulted a Moses Lake police officer Sunday night after hiding behind a tree. An officer was responding to a report about a suspicious man in dark clothing carrying a backpack on Edgewater Lane. According to Moses Lake police on Monday, the man allegedly hid behind a large tree when he noticed the officer. He was identified as 49-year-old Moses Lake resident Patrick Eslick. Eslick allegedly dropped the backpack and began to run toward his home on Reisner Road when the officer got out of his vehicle. Eslick reportedly stopped in her driveway and turned toward the officer in a fighting stance and then shoved and tried to punch the officer. Police claim Eslick stopped when the officer drew his taser. Eslick was arrested for assault in the third degree, possession of methamphetamine, and resisting arrest. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. 
If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. And we'll be right back after a short break.